Two, Diddy, Sonic. Three, two, one, now you don't see, we we don't see this matchup at all. This kid named Acro, pretty good, pretty good Sonic. I've seen him uh, go toe to toe with Angel Cortez as well over in uh, New Jersey. But I mean, um, Diddy Kong, man, there isn't too many uh, characters that can be oppressive to Diddy Kong where he doesn't have an answer. So we go a couple trades going on. Up throw, back air, bread and butters by Diddy. Gonna play a little bit with this banana. Get your mind out of the gutter. Back air gonna send him off stage. Okay. Couple B reverses, wave bounces with this banana pull. It's a much faster paced game than the one with uh than where he played our hungry or the Falcon versus Sonic game. Much faster pace. <laughs> and they agreed to Lilac for his game. That's weird. Great job by Jackal waiting out that banana. Grabbed him so that he wouldn't get tricked by it. Mm. Tries to hold that down smash. He was, he was hoping for an air dodge or something, but this time the release of that. Okay, sitting on top of a platform. You do not want to be on top of Diddy, man. It's hard enough to hit this character from on top of a platform. You just give him all stage control. And just like that, that up smash gonna hit through the right platform of Lilat and take that first stock from Jackal. Okay. Good job by Jackal DIing out. Oh, forward smash not gonna do it. But you saw Jackal DI out from that down smash, so he didn't get hit by, uh, or that up throw. He didn't get hit by too many, um, two back hits, just one. And that Sonic back air gonna do it pretty strong, man. Even though it was a little stale, still was able to kill. Nice reaction by Dylan. Up throw, back air, banana pull. Gonna set something up, more hitboxes on the stage. Why not? All right, now Dill's doing a really good job of reacting. He's, he's with, I mean, he's throwing out moves, covering space, even though he's not hitting. He's forcing Jackal to do something. He's forcing him to roll. He's forcing him to uh, throw out something that's unsafe, spot dodge, whatever it might be, and then he's reacting and punishing accordingly. Just like that. Put him in the air with that banana, and then punish him with fair. Get hit with too many of those that high, man. Fair. And attack on some more damage. Oh. Jack doing a really good job, man, of bringing this one back. 91%, 97%. All of the momentum seems to be in Jackal's favor. That back air gonna do it. That was a great, a great sequence by Jackal. He was down at least 80%. He did not falter at all. Slowly clawed his way back, clawed his way back, back air, grab, up throw, fair. Got him off stage, put Dylan in really bad situations. And then was able to capitalize. Nice job by Jackal. Great job. Let's see if this momentum um, goes into this game too. Ooh, just gonna catch it just like that. Not afraid of it. Nice pivot grab by Jackal though. Able to catch that monkey foot. Gonna punish that roll. Still doing a good job. He's not really dashing a lot. You see him walking, uh, keeping all of his options open. That would have been nice if that banana would have connected with that uh, spin shot, spin dash, whatever that blue uh, ball move is called. It's 20. Uh, it's about to be 2019. Ultimate is about to come out in December. I still don't know what time this moves are called what the differences are, what they look like. Mm, nice catch, covering a lot of area with that um, spring. That is the name of the game, Smashers. How much area can you cover at once? Mm, and that uh, monkey flip gonna put cross up and put him right behind him. Just misses that forward smash. Gonna run right into that next one. Though. Okay. Using the spring to keep himself safe. Yeah, 
looking, looking fresh catching these uh, bananas, though. You can see he has, I mean, we do have Shoyo James over there in, um, in Jersey. Jackal not even going to falter. A lot of uh, a lot of other players would have did something on that top platform and got up tilted. But nonetheless, he was able to stay solid and able to take that first, um, Dill's first stock. Here we go. Back throw. Nothing doing. Okay. Tries to trump. But kind of just gives uh, Jack a stage control again. Now Jack is sitting at 136, 147 after the hit. Going to take that stock with up smash. Okay. Still going to see if he could uh, swing this momentum back in his uh, favor. But that's not where Jack wants to be, man. He does not want to be on top of that platform. Got to get yourself on the ground. You don't want to be jumping. Nice job by Jack. He could have landed on the stage early, but opted to hold out so that the spring would, uh, wouldn't would fall on the stage after he used it. Try to get an early gimp on, uh, on him. That is nice by Jack. Keeping him on top of that, on top of the platform. Do not want to be on top of anybody in Smash 4. Okay, cancels out his momentum with that, um, with the barrels, or cancels out the end line with the barrels. Just catch it, just keeps catching this banana. Um, they're not able to use the banana the way that he would want. Because Jackal's banana play has been really, uh, really good. Now, even though uh, Jack, that might be it. Yes, it is. Great job by Jack. He understands where he needs to hit you in order to connect the fair after the spin ball move. Look at that. He was able to stay right there inside of uh, Dill throughout the entire animation of the, um, of the spin shot.